complex permanent tissues are those permanent tissues which have different uh, types of cells which could be easily identified. However, though the cells are different, they perform a common function. Hence, complex permanent tissues are heterogeneous in their nature. The complex permanent tissues are of two types in the plants. They are xylem and phloem. The xylem and phloem together perform all kinds of transportation within the plant and hence they are called conducting tissues or vascular tissues. The xylem which is a complex permanent tissue is ideally suited for the conduction of water, minerals in plants and forms a part of the vascular bundle. A vascular bundle is nothing but the bundle having both the types of conducting tissues. Based on the origin and development, among the xylem, we see two types of xylem. The primary xylem originating from the prokambium of the apical meristem and the secondary xylem that originates from the vascular cambium of secondary meristem. The xylem is composed of four different types of cells or elements. These are tracheids, trachea or xylem vessels, xylem fibers or wood fibers, xylem parenchyma or wood parenchyma. Among these four, xylem parenchyma is the only living component, whereas the tracheids, trachea and xylem fibers are all dead cells. However, they are important because they are directly involved in the conduction of water and minerals. Tracheids are primitive water conducting cells and they have originated first among the pteridophytes and have developed very well in gymnosperms. Among the angiosperms, we can see them in very less number and that too in very primitive angiosperms. The tracheid originate from procambium and vascular cambium. Structurally, a tracheid is an elongated single cell with more or less slanting ends. Tracheids overlap one another at their slanting ends. Their end walls have perforated plates or pits. At maturity, their protoplast is lost. So, the tracheids become dead cells. The cell walls are thick and that thickening is because of the deposition of lignin, a process called lignification. The secondary walls of tracheids show various types of lignin deposits. Vessels which are also conducting tissues are elongated and they are derived from many cells placed one above the other. These cylindrical cells have an open passage that is the lumen. They do have thickening similar to the tracheids and this thickening is due to lignification of their walls. The lumen of the large vessels are very broad and in cross section they appear polygonal in dicots and round in monocots. The vessels have either very simple perforated end walls or multiply perforated end walls. The cell wall is hard, thick and lignified. The process of lignification takes place in different ways. It all begins with the thickening in the form of a ring when the vessel or the tracheid is called annular. Slowly the ring like thickening becomes spiral in nature and later it becomes ladder like, further it becomes network like and finally only certain small areas are left as thin places and rest of the wall of the vessels and the tracheids become 
highly thickened because of lignification. As a result, we find varieties of trachytes and the vessels in the flowering plants. The simplest being annular followed by spiral followed by scalariform followed by reticulate and finally pitted xylem vessels and trachytes and further in advanced process there are bordered pitted vessels. All these kinds of vessels could be seen in the angiosperms. The xylem fibers are the third non-living component of the xylem. They have highly thickened walls and obliterated central lumens. These may be either septate or aseptate. They give strength and support to the xylem tissue whereas the xylem parenchyma are the only living cells whose cell walls are thin basically made up of only cellulose. The primary xylem is of two types protoxylem and metaxylem. The protoxylem as the very name signifies is the first formed primary xylem element whereas the metaxylem is the xylem that is produced later in the life of a plant. In the stems generally the protoxylem is directed towards the center or the pith of the stem whereas the metaxylem lies towards the periphery of the stem. This characteristic arrangement of the xylem that is specific to the stems is called endark. Whereas in the case of the roots, the protoxylem faces the periphery of the root whereas the metaxylem lies towards the center or the pit. Such an arrangement of the primary xylem is called exarch xylem. Xylem is a very important complex permanent tissue of the flowering plants which has the responsibility of transporting water along with the minerals from the base of the plant to the top of the plant. Thereby it builds up a continuity in the flow of water within the plant body.